Hey guys, it's Chris. I come again with a new tutorial. Today's video is about the second version of the flashlight circuit that I made on my previous tutorial. The old version is based on the through hole components, but this one is based on the small SMD parts and I will show you how to make it. Let's get started. Today's circuit is similar to the previous one that I made on my previous tutorial. So basically I'm using the same Altium schematic. The only difference is that the parts packages which are all surface mounted parts. I'm also using high brightness LEDs that could handle up to 6.8 volt. These kind of LEDs are frequently used on automotive industry. And remember that we are building this circuit to make it run on 12 volt DC power supply coming from car or bike battery. I recommend that you visit Octopart in case you require a specific part file. Several eCAD files related to several parts categories are available out there and you can add them to Altium the easy way. I prepared the circuit related PCB design and I dropped the components in one compact size area much smaller than the through hole version which requires bigger size for the big components. I placed the LEDs in two columns and I dropped hatchet copper port area around the board layout. This is not necessary in our application. I just draw it to introduce a better appearance to my circuit board. After getting the Gerber files of my design, I then move it to JLC PCB where I uploaded them and I set black solder mask color and an egg surface finish for 5 pieces. Just 6 days needed for manufacturing and delivery and I got the blue box on my desktop. Here are my designed boards ready to be assembled. This time we will use the solder paste and the hot plate for assembly. I first deposit the solder paste on the parts pads then I placed the parts to their placements on the board. I then prepared the hot plate by setting the appropriate temperature and I put the board on it to complete the assembly. After getting the board assembled, do not forget to use some flux removal solvent to clean the board. And here we have the board completed and those yellow LEDs made it great even. The final step is designing a housing for the circuit board. So I prepared this small housing and I 3D printed it in white PLA filament. I then placed these 3mm threaded inserts to help me screw the board to the housing. Now everything looks ready to receive the power supply. Once I turn on the device, the LEDs start on flashing and this way, we successfully completed this module in both versions. If you need further details about the circuit, then you can check my previous video. Let me know your thoughts to improve the circuit through the comments section. Do not miss to subscribe my YouTube channel for more project videos. One last thing. Make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris. See you next time.